Hi again, welcome back to the channel. It's me. We're playing, starting the day off with some NBA Live Mobile for you. Lakers against the Warriors. Although these aren't the real teams. Hey, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, and hit that like button. Really help out the channel. You join the community Discord, link in the description. But, the one thing, you know, I haven't been playing... Oh, goaltending. That was a nice block, though. I will say... We haven't really played much NBA Live Mobile this season. Uh, my team last season was pretty beastly, so we are going to see what this team can do. But Luke Kennard absolutely coming out of nowhere with the slam dunk to start things off. And Kyle Lowry, yep, already looking good in the Lakers uniform. You already know Lakers trying to acquire some pieces to help out the team. No, no way he's going to get that contested. Three guys in the paint and Kyle Lowry. Yep, let's take that pull up three in transition. The plus 20. It's good. Not as good as my 103 overall Steph Curry I had last season. Sad I can't use that roster today, but we're doing we're doing the best with what we've got. This is like Team USA basketball. Just uh, you know, a bunch of guys put together at the last minute on the Lakers representing here. Ooh, kick it back out from the logo. Okay, no way that was going to go, but why not? We'll try it. Anyways, no Steph Curry today. He would have made that shot. Oh, a nice nip. Nice looking layup by Andrew Wiggins. The over and up, under and up. Let's go. Kyle Lowry, though, takes it to the rack in between two defenders. Close game so far here in the first quarter. 7-6. to six. Lakers on top of the Warriors. Just a casual Sunday morning exhibition game. This is the G League. Good block. Good block. And he can't save it. He throws it out of balance at the baseline for some reason. We all know the NBA season ended a couple weeks ago. Last week with the Bucks taking over the Suns. Steph Curry showing some pops. Bucks beating the Suns in six. Giannis, his breakout series, absolutely willed the Bucks to victory. But... What can these guys do? It's the Summer League now. The uh, South Bay Lakers, whatever the team is, Wiseman, Steph Curry's back in the Summer League, getting his rehab in. We're yet to see uh, Clay Thompson make an appearance. Still a little bit injured, but I'm going to get the nice rebound. Let's run it. Let's run it all the way up the floor. Nobody's there to guard us. The one-handed slam dunk puts the Lakers up by three. 11 to eight now. Still, the first quarter. So we thought we'd take a break from some baseball nine action. Oh, Steph Curry gets some room to run, and he takes it to the rack with a nice right-handed layup. Kyle Lowry now. Ooh, got some open space. Going to pull up for the three, and that's not going to go. But I will say, we were doing some baseball nine action, but I thought for today we would change things up a little. Steph's trying to get in. We'll be back to baseball nine. Next week, he, oh, we jump a little too early. The jump step, come on, get to that, get to that. No, no, we couldn't get a hand on it. Lowry's going to take it. Ooh, last shot of the first quarter. Buzzer beater, is it going to go? It looks good. Nope, it's going to hit the back of the rim and rim out. That was a good looking shot, but with that, the Warriors actually lead the Lakers by one after the first quarter. Let's see if these Lakers can come back. We're usually playing some Baseball 9. If you're here for Baseball 9, come back on Monday. Turn on your notifications. We're going live. I'm giving you guys the tip here for you guys watching this video. We're going to try to do, be doing breaking my uh, run scoring, my record, my high scoring game record on Monday. Live on stream. If we can do it, we'll be doing some giveaways. You guys already know. We're always doing some giveaway. He saves it, but Luke Kennard is right there. And the double clutch. Easy slam dunk for him. The dunk master puts the Lakers up by one, but hey, tune into those live streams. We try to stream weekday mornings. Weekday mornings. Early mornings. If you can make it, that would be awesome. Curry again. Ooh, gets blocked in traffic. There was an open guy on the wing, but Curry decides to take it himself. He's not able to get it. Just too contested here. Wiseman, nice mid-range jumper. 
Who? Back and forth game. Lakers and Warriors just going at it. Wide open. Let's see if he can make this one. The tip in doesn't go, but Timon Okupo puts it back in. And then that is not Giannis. One of his brothers, I believe. Yep, Giannis is still recovering. He's guarding Steph Curry. Absolutely locked him down. But Draymond still. We've yet to see Draymond Green get involved in this game. Ooh, nice. Some moves. Wiseman. Some moves. Not Doesn't get it to go, but gets his own rebound. Puts it back up. The Warriors up by one. Lowry with the three. He's not going to go. So back and forth game. But now it looks like the Warriors, if they can, they're able to break this game open with the miss off of Lowry. Yep. Curry's going to take it. He's going to do some fancy dribbling. He's going to take it back out. He's looking to go back in. Nice spin move. Reverse. The left hander. And that's going to go. Puts the Warriors up by three. What a game by Steph Curry. And that's going to get blocked. But Kennard is there to get the rebound. Wow, exciting game. Very back and forth. Last season, we had a lot of blowouts with that dream team. We got the stack, Steph Curry. We got the stack, JJ Redick, the LeBron James. But this time around, we don't have the player. That's going to get blocked. But Andrew Wiggins with the rebound puts it up. It's not going to go. So the Lakers running the fast break. They don't have the numbers. But Lowry's going to push it anyways. Takes the layup. Looks like he got fouled. But it's going to go. Lakers take the one-point lead. As we wind down here in the second quarter, 12 seconds left. It looks like the Warriors are going to try to hold this for the last shot. Obrey Jr. is going to drive it. Oh, what? Falls. Defender falls down. Charge. No fouls called. The mid-range jumper is not going to go. And Tamina Kupo. And it's not going to, they're not going to get the shot off before the buzzer beater. Folks. We've got a thriller on our hands in Staples Center, Los Angeles, starting the second half, third quarter. Now, Lakers up by one point. We're looking to get a nice open shot mid-range at the elbow. That's going to go first points of the second quarter. Lakers are pulling up by a three. Largest lead of the, of the game, I believe, three. We've had many lead changes, but Lakers with another steal on the fast break. Throws it down, showing off that length, that speed. That's what the scouts are going to want to be looking for. The Lakers pull ahead by five. Wiseman with the turnaround. It's not going to go. It looks like the Lakers, what do they do out of that locker room? Coming out of halftime, they're absolutely on fire. Who gets the rebound, tries to put it back up. Gets absolutely smothered at the rim. And to add insult to injury, it's going to be Warriors ball. It looks like it was deflected off of the Lakers player. So, Warriors have a chance to get back in it. We know Steph Curry, always good for a three. They're not going to, they are going to defend the three, but they leave Kelly Obrey Jr. open in the middle of the court for a nice two-pointer. Kyle Lowry, though, right back at it over everybody. And they didn't even know he was coming. Lakers get back on top. So, you know, if I were the Warriors, I would try to run some, Steph Curry's inside again, but he's going to take it back out. I would try to maybe run something, get Steph open for a three, you know, down by two. But it's no time to panic yet. Play it slow and controlled. We still have about a minute left in the third, but Kennard's going to run this one wide open at the free throw line. Mid-range jumper. That's good. Lakers up at 27 out. So if the Lakers can get a stop here. And get a good offensive position. I would say they are in good hands. They are in a good position with the steal. He's not, Who's going to get a loose ball? It's going to be out on the Warriors. Lakers ball now. Disaster for the Warriors. I don't think they've scored at all here in the second quarter. Second half, excuse me. Lowry with the pull-up two. That's going to go the pull-up J. Lakers up by nine now. The Warriors, they played it close through the first half, but it looks like the Lakers, they've just made the adjustments, locking down Curry, not letting him get comfortable. We saw early on, he was able to make those contested shots, but doesn't look like he's able to get those to fall. The outside three is not going to go. Lakers back, fast break, running this. And Temina Kupo, again, uncontested dunk. They are just scared. Nobody wants to get put on a poster. Well, that means the Lakers are up by 11 now. He's even going to take on Steph. 
at the top of the key we have a mismatch between Kennard and Green let's see if the Warriors can let's see if Steph can get the ball over to him though but it's going to be in for Wiseman a turnaround Jay that's not going to go and the Lakers just playing the shutdown defense even that the steal is going to go but it's going to get recovered by the Lakers another slam dunk three seconds left I don't think the Warriors have scored at all this quarter and the Lakers are going to keep it that way Extend the lead 33 to 20, an absolute blowout now. Lakers pulling ahead by 13, headed into the fourth quarter. Now all they have to do is play the clock. The Warriors, they really need some big shots from, from Steph to try to close the gap, some key threes, but Steph's gonna try to do some fancy footwork, drive it in, he gets it to go finally. Might be a little too little, a little too late though. We can see no one's going to go defend him. Wide open jumper's not going to fall. So that's exactly what the Warriors need. They need the Lakers to start missing some shots, but they also need some quick points. They can't afford to run down the shot clock with only less than two minutes left. And down by 11, Wiseman's going to be in there. He's going to get another one. So it looks like the Lakers have slowed down a little bit, but we're yet to see if... Time is going to become an issue. We have Lowry on Curry. Lowry with the fancy moves, with the turnaround jumper, throws it up. It's not going to go. What are the Lakers doing? With 10 seconds left on the shot clock, you would imagine. Oh, Steph shakes two defenders, gets open, draws three on him. The Lakers are really trying to shut him down outside of Steph. No one else has really had the contribution. They're going to kick it out to Steph. That's what we're looking for. The three's not going to go, though. But great play design by the Warriors. James Wiseman puts it back up. That's what I was talking about earlier. We wanted to see from the Warriors some of that, you know, penetration, dribble, drive, kick it back out to Steph. They're wide open at the top of the key for the three, but too bad Lowry's able to come back with some points of his own. They're going to double team Steph at the top of the key, make sure he doesn't get anywhere. And they make him, they force him out of bounds with the pressure so the Lakers up by 10 with just over a minute left to go with this position possession it should take the shot clock down below a minute let's see what they can do cool nice layup uncontested there it looks like they were looking outside maybe for a possibility at a kick out to Lowry but instead he takes it all the way himself Obrey Jr. nice jump cut inside it's going to get the layup so 50 seconds left Lakers still up by 10 we are still going to need a miracle from the Warriors. Another corner jumper from the edge of the key. Man, the Lakers, it's the offensive rebound. Really killing the Warriors up by 12 now with 40 seconds left. That looks like that's going to be it today. But very entertaining game. The Summer League just kicking off with these teams. Steph puts up a three, gets it to go. Very contested shot. But the Lakers can afford to just kind of dribble things out. Another pull-up? Okay, I guess. Since it's the Summer League, they want every possession they can get. Working on some things, making these teams a lot better. Wide open in the corner. That's what happens when you double Steph. Somebody's going to get open eventually. So it looks like, you know, the Warriors were able... Ooh, nice dunk. A one-hopper from the baseline. Puts it down. We're saying the Warriors making some threes now, but a little bit too late into the game. We got three guys on Steph. He still pulls up, shoots the threes. Not going to go. Three, two, one. Lowry with the pull-up jump shot at the buzzer. Is not going to go. That's going to be it for this game. Lakers take this one over. The Warriors, 44-33, to a potential Western Conference Finals matchup next season. We're seeing if the Lakers can get back healthy. If they're able to recruit, you know, a Kyle Lowry type player to their team, they might be looking at another championship run. And we always know the Clippers are, excuse me, the Warriors are good for it. Steph coming back, Klay Thompson coming back from injury, two lottery picks. Interested to see what they're going to do. But that's it for today. Next week, we got the Lakers going up the, against the Clippers. Classic Crosstown rivalry. You're not going to want to miss it. Hey, get subscribed if you're still watching. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll catch you later. Peace.